Well, you can see how unlevel the uh, floor is. We're going to remove this toilet and we're going to use some plaster Paris to level the floor off so that when we set the toilet back the uh, toilet will be nice level steady and straight first we're going to cut the water to the toilet off and what I like to do is take a plunger and just plunge the remaining water in the tank out in the uh, bowl itself now let's disconnect the uh, supply line to the toilet tank Usually I like to put a uh, small bowl or a towel up underneath to catch the uh, excess water that comes off after removing the supply line. Now let's uh, remove the uh, closet bolts so that we can lift the toilet and put it to the side. Well, now you can see how uh, unlevel the floor is. Uh, it looks as though someone has tried to uh, make repairs before. And what I like to do is I like to uh, leave the uh, existing wax on there and just put a whole new wax ring right on top of there. Just, uh, it's always good to have just a a little more wax. I mean, it's not hurting anything. Just put it on there and get a nice seal on the toilet. Now, let's start with our shims and start leveling the floor off. And with the shims, we're going to fill all the voids, all the low spots of the floor. And once we have the shims in place, that's when we're going to mix our plaster Paris and just kind of place the par plaster Paris around it so that uh, we can start leveling this floor off. Now, I usually carry a plastic container around in my truck to uh, mix plaster Paris in. So if you have something like this, this is, this is fine. And yes, that's the uh, plaster Paris. And you can find it in uh, most hardware stores. Now when you mix plaster pairs, all you're going to use is water and you're just going to mix it just as if you would mix a cake mix or a cement mix. You're just going to keep mixing it till you get the right consistency. Not too watery, not too thick. The biggest problem of mixing it not too thick, I mean mixing it thick is that uh, it will dry fast and you want 
to give yourself a little time to uh, set this tall in place before it dries too fast. Now one of the things you can't see right now is that I am running the uh, water in the face bowl. Now if you're close to the uh, tub, that's another place you can run the water. And as I'm mixing the plaster Paris, I just continuously let the uh, water in the face bowl or tub just run. So that uh, after my mixing, I can wash my hands and the uh, excess plaster Paris is just wash down the drain and just keep the water running so it don't clog it up just until it dilutes and flushes it all away. Now remember, if you mix this too watery, it's going to run everywhere, and it's not going to do you any good. So now we have just about the right consistency that we want. And we can start placing it over the uh, shims and filling all the voids, all the low spots of the uh, floor. And another thing, this uh, plaster Paris, you won't have to worry about it sticking to the toilet. If the uh, toilet needs to be relifted in the uh, future, uh, the toilet will come right up and the plaster Paris will stay right in place. So, sticking to the toilet won't be a problem. And another thing, make sure that you have a uh, nice big sponge set to the side, ready to go. And what we're going to do with the sponge is we're going to soak the sponge with water and we're going to start wiping around the toilet. You'll see here in, uh, in a little bit when we uh, reset the toilet. Don't worry about putting too much plaster Paris down there because we're going to uh, we're going to wipe the excess plaster Paris away anyway. Now we set our toilet in place. And we just kind of Squish it down right on top of the plaster of Paris and the wax, wax ring. Now we have the toilet where we want. We just take our hand and start 
pushing the plaster paris up into the uh any void that you might see up under the toilet we're going to fill all these voids so we can have a nice tight seal and a nice flush fit and as we're doing this we have the sponge to the side Make sure that we spoke. Soak the sponge real good. purpose for the sponges so that we can get a nice smooth and clean finish See, we take the sponge the and the water, and we start flushing the excess away and wiping it up in the sponge. Then we just continuously rinse the sponge out back and forth until we get to the uh, point where we get, to get our nice smooth finish. Now, each time we uh, come back with the sponge, we start using less and less water. until close to the last wipe and we want the sponge kind of dry so we can wipe up the uh, film and the excess of the plaster paris around the towel and the toilet. 